Hi, Thomas. Um, Bob talked about, um, you know, how he wasn't happy with the reaction after March or so ran Redeem Simic there. You know, I know, I know you were on the ice. Was that a situation that you think the team should have handled at the time or at least at some point in that game? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, it was kind of tough because I, I didn't see the first one. I was kind of next to him, but I don't see the hit. And the second one, I actually I thought, because I don't see the cross. I know, like, I thought it was his knee. So I was asking him right away if it's his knee and he said no. So I was like, scare of more dead because I honestly I don't saw like the cross check I was like looks like I'm right behind but I was kind of I thought so he just pushed him and he for the second he is his knee so I it's for sure it's up to me I should step it out especially if it's smashes so nobody like big I, I should be there for him you know it's on me but you know it's it's, it's one of the tough so so I have to learn from that too but it's kind of tough but honestly I don't really saw it but Happen. I was exactly behind him, and I thought so for a second. He he just pushed him, and, you know, with the knees, I know how it is. He just make a good move, and I thought so. How he kind of bent over, I thought so was his knee, but for sure I stepped by, you know, he's, you know, he's my really good friend, we always, so I, it's tough to have to see, if, you know, he got, like, cross-check like that, and he don't do nothing, you know. How important is it um, to have that element in the team game where guys are sticking up for each other and, you know, sending a message that other teams can't take liberties like that? Yeah, for sure. You know, if you, if you don't do that, you know, every team just come out, you know, they will be hit us like, like not, and they will know nothing happened. So, so we know if it's something happened moving forward, we have to be there for each other because we can let other guys get hurt and just our teams like just do whatever they one with us, especially like Vegas team, you know, we got big rivalry. We have to be more tough against this team. Curtis? Tomas, how, how is your team doing today? Is he in good spirits or how, how does he feel today just generally? So sorry, one more time. How is how is Redeem feeling today? Is, yeah, is I talked to him and he's, he's, he, he's now feel way better and and I think uh, he will be re re ready really soon. It's, it's a good thing. It's nothing seriously and he, Every day, you know, he's feel better and and ready again to play, you know, and and you know, not nothing hopefully serious, and he can play, you know, again soon as like in Monday, I think he can. Uh, Eric Carlson, we were talking to him a little bit earlier. He was saying he's been dealing with a, a little bit of an injury for a little while here. How did how did he look on the ice today? Yeah, he got up there. You know, we got quick skate. You know, and. He, he he just gay. I uh, I don't really like. He looks like normal. I don't know how he's feeling. You know, it's tough sometimes. You know, see how's this feel. But uh, I think he's felt pretty well. But I don't know how's the situation. You know, it's 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 you know it's not great. You know, the growing stuff because you know you need for the skates part and using all the time. So sometimes you know if to if you don't feel maybe step back or something because you know you don't want to pull it more or something more. But if it's nothing really serious, hopefully he can play because. You know, we need, we need everybody, you know, right now. How's it been with you and, and Timo and Mark, uh, these few games on the same line? You know, I think oh, I like it. You know, I'm just happy, you know, last, I think, four games. We got ch ch chances all the time. You know, I, I know I scored a couple, like, even last game. We got a couple chances. You know, we work hard. I know we can still be better, you know, for our team, you know. And, uh, you know, me and Timo, it's... Still not quite yet. We got like 20 minutes good, and after kind of we pull down and again come back. We know the team needs us for 60 minutes, but I like both of them. You know, Rudy Timo, they fast, they for check hard, they work for a lot of parks, and especially Rudy, you know, he come, you know, and I never played before. So I, I like his game. You know, he's smart, he, he can hold the park, but you know, it's for, for sure up to me and Timo make it some place, be strong on the park and spend more time in Ozone. But, uh, it was nice to get in the last couple of games some chances, you know, especially Timo. I know for him, you know, it's tough for him. He doesn't score that many goals, but he got the chances. He has to stay with it. You know, it's just one bounce and he will be back and and we can roll. But we have to just keep working hard and the other stuff will open up for us. Shang? Hey, Tommy. Um, I was going back to uh, uh, a Redeem's uh, uh, injury in a March or so hit. Uh, did the team not uh, realize till after the game what March or so did? Because you know you, you talked about what happened or you, what you saw when it happened, but what about you know later in the game? Uh, honestly, I didn't actually no idea about it because I was asking if Shimmer nobody like told me. And after you know first was like he got cross check. I was like almost where and after it was head. So it, 
we, we should step it up and ask and what would happen earlier. But, you know, it was kind of a tough situation, you know, because you down one goal and you, you just try to score. But for sure, when we find out, we, we should step it up, especially a guy like Marcia saw these guys, you know, they can just hit our guys, you know, and and we look, it, it just looked bad. We, we know that we have to, especially me, we have to learn and step it up. And it's just one of these situations, it's tough, you know, and and it's tough, you know, especially when the guy missing some games, you know, and but nothing you can do right now, you know, we, we play them again soon and we, we got still seven games against them left. So we got a lot of times, you know, probably it was just like, Kind of bad mistake from me and from other guys, and move move forward. And and uh, I want to change uh, gears a little bit. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, Mario Ferraro, and uh, he seems to be somebody who's uh, really fit in very easily uh, with the the team. Uh, you know, seems very likable, and you know, for a guy with such a big personality too. You know, that that seems to be uh you know a, a real you know he's been a real plus so anyway can you just talk about how he's fit in so easily since he came in last year yeah he, he's great you know he's he's uh, you know he, he loves to talking you know everybody hear him in the locker room he almost taking like he's almost like like jumbo you know he just can't stop talking you know and he's fun guy and around but he he's proof like especially this year he's really good you know defense he one of the defensemen he got a lot of minutes and he played great so far so i'm really happy for him but you know, with Mario, it's, you know, he works hard every day. You know, he gets early here and he won't just hang out with the boys and have fun, you know, and and I think he's now actually a DJ too. So he really moves and through almost the leading group, you know, he, he likes to be there and he should because he, he take a big step. He he get the minutes and he just every night proven he can, he can play it. So I'm really happy for him and... And, you know, and I really like him. So it's it's great to have him in Mario and locker room because he can cheer a lot of guys and around it too because he's always so much energy. He, he's never tired. He got always energy. So it's fun to have him around the locker room. Uh, what kind of music does he play? Uh, do you like him as a DJ? I like him. Uh, he play like everything. You know, I'm easy on the music. And uh, I don't know, some guys like Sandra movie, but I'm, I don't really care. You know, sometimes it's nice when it's like day off or like... Or, you got like country and another day when his game, you got something, you know, get you going. So he, he take care of it. He's doing a pretty, pretty good job.